Today, I think it's safe to say I broke the finals. I surpassed every single boundary on the map. I even created a laser beam that can crash the server. What's up guys, Gravity here with our 8th installment of Myth Busting Mondays, the series where I take myths from you guys and test them in game. These videos take a ton of time to make, so I just gotta give a special thanks to all my channel members. You guys make this type of content possible. Thank you. Now kick back and grab some popcorn. We got a crazy episode ahead. Starting off with a nuclear myth, we got Mr. Pig saying, You can get outside the new map and walk freely. Surpassing boundaries is not something we're new to. I knew with enough testing we could pull this off on Cis Horizon. There's multiple areas with these open planes beyond the barrier that immediately looked perfect for this. By using a gateway, it's actually incredibly easy to get through the barrier along the perimeter. However, we could not make it far before the game teleported us back into the map. It seems the developers implemented some sort of safety guard to prevent this type of exploit. We were able to get outside the map in multiple locations, but each time we either fell through the floor or rubber banded back to our starting point. It's worth noting, as of the most recent patch, there's a new weird mechanic when you fall off the map. Even if you're standing perfectly still on something like goo, the game will teleport you into the death zone somewhere else on the map. I'm wondering if maybe this is related to what's happening on Cis Horizon and thinking this could possibly change in an upcoming patch. This will have to be one we continue to test in the future, but for now we're calling this myth busted. Even though we could get outside the map, we were not able to walk freely like we anticipated. Up next, William comments, Can you dematerialize goo? This is one of those myths where you'd expect a straightforward result, but man is this anything but simple. For starters, you can dematerialize goo, but it doesn't really dematerialize it. It causes goo connected to it to break, but the original goo doesn't break or become transparent like any other wall or structure would. Ludo coined this as phantom goo. This goo won't let you walk past it, but your bullets shoot right through it. It has all sorts of weird properties and can be broken with explosives or by breaking connected goo. If you target the weak points of a goo wall, you can break the entire wall by dematerializing just one blob. What's also weird about this is there's no visual indicator on screen telling you the structure can be de- or rematerialized. There's a really funny tech using the phantom goo where you can launch yourself super high in the air. Just place a goo wall with a canister or grenade and stand on the edge of it. Then just dematerialize the goo below or around you and as the goo breaks off, it launches you sky high. Even though goo reacts differently than other structures, I'm calling this myth confirmed, you can dematerialize goo. Monkey Man comments, can you put a warp gate on a new cash box before it opens, teleporting the cash box as it pops? Gateway portals normally have a max range of 70 meters. On the current patch, there's a bug allowing gateway portals unlimited range while active. You can see here I used it to teleport across the entire map on Cis Horizon. This immediately gave me an ingenious idea. I set up the gateway above the vault and another all the way at the cash out. Although I missed the cash out by just a hair, you absolutely can send a new vault through portals. This myth is confirmed. Craftno super thanked and said, Myth, you can use gateway to trap people in the chimney. This one is just flat out funny. You can easily trap people in the chimney using a gateway. If you could bait an enemy into using it, you could easily trap them for an extended period of time. This myth is confirmed. Burb's myth is, you can dematerialize cash boxes. I tried this with open cash boxes and vaults before they're activated. Neither garnered us any luck. This probably would have been way too overpowered, but it was worth a shot. This myth is busted. <laughs> I want to thank Trey in the comments from my last video. I thought the dematerializer couldn't be used to trap teammates in walls. He showed me the spot on Las Vegas where this actually does work. I thought it was funny and worth mentioning in today's episode. We got another nuclear myth from Speedy. If you create an infinite loop with two gateways, would a projectile or cash box keep on getting faster and faster? This is one of those myths where before I even got to test it, the game crumbled like a cookie. I went to throw an object in the portal, and before I could, this bug happened. It spams a laser beam effect that makes your eyes and ears bleed a little. Of course, I immediately went into investigation mode. Naturally, we created a triangle with our portals to see what would happen. This amplified the bug to hilarious proportions. For whatever reason, we decided to try this on the highest scale possible. We went to Monaco and created a giant triangle loop for our portals. What happened next is absolutely jaw-dropping. What? Uh... What? 
I think we just broke Vicky! <laughs> what? <laughs> there's actually no way. That there's no way. What? Yeah, we we broke the server. server. That's not real. Yes, we crashed the entire server doing this. Now, if any of you have ever watched me Mythbust before, you know we are not done. I always check to see if a result is replicable. So yes, I did it again. To my surprise, we recreated the exact same result. A server crash. It crashed! No way! <laughs> no! No way. At the time of posting this video, I have already reported this to multiple developers. I don't normally like to share exploits like this, but at least we can shine some light on them and get them fixed ASAP. As always, please don't abuse this or any other game breaking bugs. We're just here to have some fun with friends. I went to the practice range to test the original myth and some pretty crazy things happened there as well. I'm not sure the exact cause, but sometimes when I tried this, it would drop my frames down to like 5 FPS and make the cash box look like stop motion. My my closest guess is that it's overwhelming the server with some sort of replaying effect or animation. Reminds me of entity cramming back in Minecraft, but moving on, I did get a clip of the original myth sort of working with the cash box speeding up and looping itself. Although this myth got out of hand fast, I'm calling this one confirmed. You can speed up objects by having them loop through gateway portals, just please don't exploit this. Our next myth is from user who says, Can anti-gravity lift another anti-gravity in stack? This is a straightforward one, placing them on top of or beside each other doesn't have any effect. I also tried placing one on a floor below one and that didn't affect them either. It would be really cool if you could stack these to get higher, but this myth is busted. Anti-gravity cubes do not lift each other or stack. We got another myth about the anti-gravity cube from Soldier. Can you lift the whole crane when detached with the anti-gravity cube? This one also would have been super cool, but unfortunately the anti-gravity does not seem to apply to the crane. Maybe the crane is just too heavy, but I tried with multiple cubes at once and we still had no luck. This myth is busted. <laughs> Guns has our next myth. There's no limit to how many objects can be data reshaped at a single time as long as they're close enough together. This was a super funny discovery. The reach isn't very far with the reshaper, so I couldn't get every single object in my line of sight, but there is definitely no limit. If you could fit 100 tiny pots in a small corner, I'm sure you could reshape them all. This is a myth I'm glad to confirm. Monkey Man returns for a second myth in today's episode. Can you use the data reshaper under the power shift platform to reshape turrets on the platform? This would have been a super cool tech with the data reshaper, but unfortunately, you cannot use it through walls or the power shift platform. Line of sight is required to reshape anything. This myth is busted. Our next myth is possibly our most nuclear myth in the entire series. Breaker says, can you meet up with other players in the practice range by glitching through the ceiling and using goo? Let me start by saying my reaction to this was literally WTF. Because if you initially read that, you would think he's on drugs. What's crazy is I began this whole process unintentionally. I was actually testing another myth in the practice range when I was suddenly shot at from a sniper. I had to sit for a second and process this before I began this long journey. Last patch, there was an exploit to get above the map on Cis Horizon using the gateway on light. It was patched, but the same glitch works in the practice range on current patch. All you have to do is throw a gateway straight up while on this building. This lets you get right out of bounds and explore all sorts of restricted areas. However, while I did this, I was not able to see any other players or practice ranges. If you jump off the map, you get some funny animations and get locked in a never-ending fall. The only way out is to leave the lobby and reset. This was a far as I originally took the myth. But right before recording the audio for this video, I had just the smallest hunch to go back and look just one more time. I went back to take one more look. It may be too small for you guys to see this, but I saw this tiny little dot hundreds of meters away and had no clue what it was. I went back and grabbed my sniper to get a closer look. Lo and behold, I actually was able to see another freaking person roaming around in the abyss. This had me so starstruck. I was even able to actively shoot, hit, and kill players while they were in their own practice range. 
So of course the question everyone is thinking, can we get over to these players? And if it's possible, how would we even accomplish this? An incredible tech that allowed us to venture further was the fact that you can change your class while underneath the floor. I'm not making this up when I tell you guys, I tried for hours to figure out an effective strategy to close such a massive gap. I tried using goo, dash, gateway, grapple hook, jump pad, and even zip lines. Nothing got me close enough to even see another practice range. I then thought to myself, I can't make it far enough using goo, but maybe if the other player in their practice range made a goo bridge, we could meet in the middle. But then another obstacle arose. How was I supposed to communicate with the other player across the server to make a goo bridge with me? Or if I'm to get a friend to help, how am I supposed to get my friend to be in the exact spot I need him? There's probably hundreds of players in the server and they all spawn randomly across thousands of meters. I tried for another hour to queue with my bud Vinny and we could not find each other no matter what we tried. He ran around his map with a giant mesh shield up and I looked with a sniper. We tried changing our server, enabling and disabling crossplay, and moving all around the map with no luck. Yet again, I was just about ready to move on and make the video without progressing any further. But I wouldn't be Gravity Drop and this wouldn't be Myth Busting Monday if we gave up here. I came too far to stop now. Mr. Pig joined us to help. We all were queuing and trying to find each other. After relentless attempts, I was screaming with excitement when I finally found Mr. Pig across the server. Mr. Pig discovered if one of us walked above the shooting range and the other near the practice range spawn point, we were closest to each other and within recognizable distance. The next hurdle was meeting up. We decided to use a tech with the barricade mixed with goo. Goo can only connect 14 blobs before breaking, but if you place a barricade on your 14th blob, you can reset this number and continue adding to the chain. Even with this method, you have less than 90 seconds before your goo bridge comes crumbling. So we began gooing in an attempt to meet up and man did we get so close on our first try panicking that our goo bridges were about to crumble pig threw a goo grenade to finish the bridge but he hit my goo chain by accident and sent the entire bridge crumbling no it's falling no 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 we were so close i was devastated as i thought it would take us hours before we'd run into each other again remember i cannot respawn once i fall i have to leave and rejoin a new server in order to come back so every fail means we start all over thankfully we queued together and managed to get similar arena spawn points as before we tried again and actually met in the middle so of course i rushed to his practice range out of excitement but a crazy realization hit. Even when I was standing on top of his arena, I still could not see it. Of course, we had to get me inside to see if this was indeed the case. Pig had to use multiple gateways and guide me underneath, then back into his practice range. Even though it doesn't look like it, I was able to make it all the way into Pig's practice range. This is the buggiest myth of the series. Sprinting, jumping, and crouching don't exactly work. The only things I could do were take his zip lines, shoot him, place goo, and climb on it. But to give you guys a better perspective of what's happening and what it looks like, we restarted but had Pig come to my side this time. Using the same method, I was able to guide him all the way into my own personal practice range. Man, this still has me speechless. How on earth did we get to this point in myth busting? To pull all of this off, we needed to use multiple techs. We needed to queue into each other's server, find the ideal spot to locate each other, change our class and loadout while underneath the map, use gateway to breach barriers, and use the barricade tech to pull this off. If any of these were patched or didn't work, this wouldn't be possible. Saying this is a nuclear myth is an understatement. We need a new word for a myth this insane. It literally required the stars to align. Unfortunately, while in my practice range, Pig could not see or interact with much. He was able to navigate around using goo, but that's about all he could do. Even if he shot the bots, they took no damage. When he died to a bot himself, he respawned back at his practice range and had some weird audio bugs. But man, I don't care if we couldn't do anything, I am just so proud we pulled this off. This is by far the coolest myth in all of Myth Busting Mondays. I am sure we won't have long before this gets patched. Embark, please don't patch this. So I'm glad I got a chance to soak up some fun. This myth was magically confirmed. You can meet up with other players in their own practice range. Man, what a crazy episode. I know that last myth was super long. I just had to share that journey with you guys. Please subscribe if you enjoyed. I'll catch y'all in the next one.